this is Allison. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to play this charming man by the Smiths. Let's start with the intro. Okay, so we're in standard tuning with a capo on the second fret. I'm going to call out the frets as they are on the fretboard, not in relation to the capo. So right now we're on the 9th and the 10th frets, actual frets. We start with two strums, then move down to the 7th and the 9th frets. Take that same position up to the 10th and 12th frets, one strum, then a muted strum, back to the 9th and 10th frets, and then back to the 7th and 9th frets. So all together that sounds like this. Again that's. It's also important to lift up the fingers between strums instead of so hopefully you can hear the difference okay the next part we have a slide from the seventh and the ninth frets to the ninth and the tenth frets and then do a muted strum on one and two and then an open one and two and then move to 10 and 12 on second and first strings, two strums. Then barring the ninth fret, top three strings, pluck three, two, one. And then go to the 12th fret, second string. So that whole piece sounds like this. Part, we make a diagonal shape with the fingers on frets 9, 10, 11, and pluck the third string two times, second string one time, back to the third string, then the first string, then remove the first finger to pluck open two times. Go back to the second string then the pinky comes to the 12th fret, second string. So that was. Then we go back to the first position of the diagonal shape. So that was just three, three, two, three. Then you're gonna do a slide, a whole step up from 10 and 11 to 12 and 13. So that's. Then back to 10 and 11. Then that bar again on the ninth fret, but just the third and second strings. So that was. Then we're gonna go back to the first and second strings. This is similar to the first part of the intro. So we've got from the beginning of this part. So that was the same exact thing as the very first part of the intro. as well as that part. Okay, here's how the verse sounds. This is how I play it.
So the verse has three parts and they just repeat over and over again. The first one starts in that same diagonal shape on 9, 10, 11. You pluck the third string two times, second string, back to the third string, up to the first string, let go and play the first string open two times, then back to the second string, then the 12th fret second string. Back to the sh first shape. Three, three, two, three. Then you're gonna do a slide from 10 and 11, up a whole step to 12 and 13. Two strums, once you get there, then go back to 10 and 11, then barring on the ninth fret, plucking the third and second strings. So all together that sounds like this. Okay, then the next part, we're gonna come to the fifth fret, it's actually the third fret from the capo, and just do a little slide up to the sixth fret. Then the first finger comes to the fifth fret, second string, and the third finger comes to the seventh fret, fourth string, making another diagonal shape. Whoops. So that's a slide. And then second string twice, fourth string, first string open, second string. So that sounds like this. Then we go to start the phrase over, but we don't finish it. Just do that much. Then the third part come up to the ninth fret, second string, and the ninth fret, third string. Two, two, three. Two, two, three, one, two. So those are all the phrases. Then you go back to the first one and you start it over again. So again, real slow. That's the verse. Okay, here's the chorus. It basically has three parts. part of the chorus. Starts with a diagonal shape on frets 10, 11, 12, strings 2, 3, 4. You're going to pluck 4, 3, 2, 3. Then shift your third finger down to the 11th fret, first finger bars at the 9th fret, and the same strings for your plucking. The next shape is diagonal on 9, 10, 11, strings 1, 2, 3. You're going to pluck 3, 2, 1, and then second string open. And that gives you a moment to shift over here to your next shape. It's a B7 shape all the way up here on frets 14, 13, 14, and 14. So you're pressing on Strings five, four, three, and one. And you're going to pluck the same strings that you're pressing on. Five, four, three, one. Then we're going to shift back to the first position that we started on. 
on uh, 10, 11, 12, strings 2, 3, 4. But we're going to add the pinky on the 12th fret first string. Back to this shape on the 14th and 13th frets. Same picking as before. 5, 4, 3, 1. Then we're going to go to some chords. We're going to start by barring at the 9th fret, strings 5 through 1. And then the 2nd finger is on the 2nd string, 10th fret. The 3rd finger is on the 4th string, 11th fret. We strum down up. Then lift off your 2nd and 3rd fingers. Down, up, down. Put them back down where they were and strum up, up. So all together that's then we're going to travel down to the 5th fret and 7th fret. The 5th fret, it's not a bar chord, but you just want to press on the 5th string 5th fret, muting out the other strings. Then the 3rd finger reaches to the 7th fret, 4th string, and the 4th finger is on the 7th fret, 2nd string, and you're going to strum once, and then take the position up a whole step. So the whole chord section is. Then we're going to go back to the picking that we just did. Then back to the chords. But this time, you're going to go back to the first chord and do it again. Ending with just one up strum instead of two. And that's the chorus. Now, there's only two choruses in the song. That was the first one. The second one goes on for longer. But it's the same thing. Okay, those are all the parts to this charming man as I know them. I hope you enjoy trying to learn it. Uh, check back for more Smith's videos on my YouTube channel. And that's it. Thanks so much. Bye.